Twitter can seem, like, I, I love this, like a cesspit of arguing, insults and trolls. Ain't that the truth, especially when it comes to political debate? In response to this, the think tank British Future has designated today Positive Twitter Day. They're going to be hosting a respectful panel discussion about what can be done to improve our political conversations online. One of the panellists is Paul Staines from Guido Fawkes, who joins us now Morning. from central London. Really good to see you. Look, I, I know it's partly down to Brexit because the, the, the nation has been polarised when it comes to our political thinking at the moment, but Twitter is so unpleasant whenever you talk about anything political. Why has it got so bad? I think people are very frustrated on both sides of the Brexit argument, that's one thing. But it was getting pretty bad when we first started Positive Twitter Day, which was back in 2012. So I have to admit, it hasn't been so successful so far, but it's growing. Uh, last year, a lot of mental health charities got involved because besides politics, there's a lot of young people on social media, there's a lot of bullying. So I think what we're trying to do is highlight the possibility that people could be civil to each other for once and not degenerate into a complete bun fight. What, what is strange to me, and I mean, you, you know this even better, that whenever you hang about with politicians, whenever you go to the House of Commons, actually those people who are having a go at each other in the chamber are actually very civil to each other in real life. They get on much better than the people who seem to support them. Most do. Most people are civil. But they're professional politicians, so to speak. A lot of people who have been, as you said, radicalised by Brexit are angry on both sides. And I think the element of anonymity allows them to be something they wouldn't be if they are on the bus sitting next to the same person. So what do we do to make Twitter more positive and, and, I mean, basically we're saying more polite, aren't we? Yeah, I just, just, I think on Twitter, you're not going to win anyone over by really insulting them. You might get some temporary satisfaction, but it doesn't really help. Twitter itself is becoming uh, better at policing uh, really over-the-top racist and uh, uh, homophobic and hate speech, but uh, it's up to us you know, people involved on Twitter. I've got a quarter of a million followers on Twitter. I have in the past been pretty belligerent. I'm trying to be certainly polite. My kids are now on social media. I don't want them to think badly of Dad, so I'm behaving better. It's part of the problem with any social media that it does become a bit of an echo chamber. If you, if you believe in one, say, polit one particular political aspect of life, you're going to follow people who agree with you, and so you only hear views that you agree with. Yeah, that, that concept is called the filter bubble. You, you, people get satisfaction from having their own views confirmed. So when they actually see someone or listen to someone or follow someone who has a radically different view, they tend to, it tends to be a bit of a shock to the system and they can be very derogatory towards that person, even though that person also has his own filter bubble and his similar views to himself all the time. So if you follow people who you disagree with, it's always helpful. You know. I read papers that don't support your usual political line. It does open your mind a bit. I suppose that's an acceptance then that saying, you know, whatever our own personal view, we may not be right. It does occasionally happen that I'm not right. I've realised this after 50 years on this planet, and I think more people who follow people outside their comfort zone and listen to the other side will get a, a, a better feeling for the reality of things. The other problem with uh, social media compared to, say, um, you know, professional media, is that uh, there's a lot of um, less research and knowledge. So people tend to say stupid things and that provokes uh, the other side because if they have any knowledge, they're like, oh, this person is a complete idiot. Try to explain rather than uh, insult. I'll do my best today. Uh, quite right too. And for the days to come, we expect, Paul, really good to talk to you. Thank Happy you. Happy positive Twitter day.